Hello and welcome to my latest Star Wars video. So this time we're going to be taking our second look through my vintage carded Tri-Logo action figure collection. Uh, so uh, a couple of weeks back we had a look through the first lot and uh, there's some absolutely beautiful figures in there and these are equally as gorgeous. I absolutely love these Tri-Logo ones and I'm sure you will do too. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. Right then, so let's have our second look through these Tri-Logo vintage Star Wars figures. So not, I'm afraid, a very exciting one to, to start off with, and that's Chief Chirper. So what can you say about him? Um, one of the Ewoks, probably the, one of the most common figures to actually be able to find. I'm not sure if you can see, but this one's got a tiny little um, sticker residue mark on there which is something which once again if I do get around to uh, uh, well I am going to definitely be cleaning my action figures um, that's one that's going to need a little bit of work uh, next one is the Emperor so I don't believe this is a, a hard to get figure at all is it let's be honest um, this is a really nice one he's unpunched uh, so he's never really hit hit a store shelf by the looks of it it's interesting how sort of quite heavy quite heavy this figure is and I guess that would be um, a reflection of all the plastic that's been used in there. Um, certainly quite a nice, uh, quite a nice little figure. Uh, next, oh dear, well we got yet another Ewok. Now this is interesting because it says made in Mexico, so it's a very much thinner card. Um, but Luma, um, it is what it is. A little bit of um, sticker removal mark there on there, but um, apart from that, yeah, this is a. Uh, a made in Mexico one, so it's got um, this little made in Mexico down in the bottom corner. Not 100% sure what that means. I know there are people who are after made in Mexico figures. I mean, I'm not one of them. I just just want one of each, really. I think that's quite enough initially. Um, this is a really nice figure, and I remember I, I did have a little bit of um, not a massive job but it took me about a year to find one of these back in the day i'm not sure what they go for now um this one cost me 50 pound i remember i paid for this one um, which i didn't think was bad at the time um for a carded figure bearing in mind even back then like a, a loose blue tag blue snaggle tooth was about 50 pound um this is in the sort of the very early 90s um another princess leah figure here and this is princess leah in her hoff outfit um, hands on hips there, given a bit of attitude by the look of it. Uh, this is another one which, in the light, I can see there's so much dust on it. Really is. So um, that one's obviously not been stored um, in a star case, or if it has, it's been put in a star case, and that dust is basically 20 years old, <laughs> or 30 years old even. So definitely, I think this is saying to me that some of these figures need a darn good clean. Right. Here's a bit of a fun one. So 88. Now, he, he's not rare either, is he? I'm sure he's not. This was one of those ones that was pretty, pretty common at the time. Uh, a good little fun figure. This is another one with the original price sticker label. Ever, you can see the where it's been taken off there. Not very well. Um, so that's something which we're going to need a, a bit of a clean. But apart from that, he's a really nice, uh, really nice little figure. That I don't mind 88. He's a bit of fun, isn't he? Don't mind him. Um, next one we got is Han Solo. So this is Han in his indoor trench coat. And uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. He looks looks good. This one's also unpunched. Um, got that same little level of dust. In fact, I'd say that one's one of the best ones we've seen. It's a really nice, uh, nice relatively high grade copy of that one, which is nice to have. Slip him under there. Next one we've got is Paplu. Now I see this one is also uh, made in Mexico. I wonder what it it all means. Um, there is only one person, at least the most knowledgeable person I know here on YouTube with regards to all the different card packs, and that's uh, the Blacked Out Ewoks. And uh, 
there he is there <laughs> that's not really him but um he's a very knowledgeable fellow and he's been helping out with all these videos um and uh, spotting potential rarities and variations you can just feel this made in mexico it's got such a thin card compared to a normal star wars figure and i think that's just a reflection of where um where it was manufactured more than anything else so that's that now here's probably my favorite luke skywalker figure and that's luke and his uh, stormtrooper outfit sadly my version of this it was one of the ones that i got for uh, uh 29p back in the late 80s and it is all creased in that because it was right at the bottom of the bin it had never been put out you see it's unpunched it's just been creased um i couldn't turn it down because it's it was the only one in the uh, in the basket unfortunately but i mean the actual bubble it's quite quite robust that's survived okay it's just the actual card itself is uh in a bit of a, a creased up stage shall we say all right next one is oh well i do love this one it's the imperial gunner now there's not too many figures that are that cool looking in the star wars range but i think this one qualifies as being one of them for sure really really nice nice unpunched example of that one and uh, yeah he does come come as a recommended figure the old imperial gunner doesn't he oh, really really nice next one the imperial dignitary so this is one that took me quite a while to get because i kept finding carded ones but the nose of the imperial dignitary had been rubbed off even on carded ones it was like it missed the paint or and this is i don't know the truth of this but there were dealers back in the 90s who'd had the toy tony cards and bubbles and they were just picking up mint looking figures even if they did have that little dot on the nose and maybe carding them up this is not one of those this is an original um but it makes you think doesn't it uh all the ones that i was finding had that like paint defect so i don't really know if that was what was happening there um so this is romba the, the big fatty wok i call him this is a nice unpunched example of him actually that is a really nice example a little bit of bubble yellowing which is interesting isn't it uh, only a little bit um and he is once again very very dusty but the actual figure that's there's nothing wrong with that that's a real nice uh, a nice one if not exactly in demand but certainly a nice a nice figure the next one we got is the a-wing pilot so i never ended up getting an a-wing toy in the droids line i always wanted one um i just never one never sort of came my way not in a in a nice box i don't have any uh of the vehicles or play sets loose i only ever kept in box because i just didn't have the room to display loose uh loose ships really um it is scarce uh, i don't think we only ever i think we may have had one in the shop in all the years that we were trading over 10 years so um, i haven't got one but the figure's nice i think it's really great and uh, i do have a few droids bits in the collection but not the a-wing sadly um barada so this is one of the desert scale sail skiff um aliens now i don't mind these per se but they were well you know they, they just they are what they are aren't they i mean um this one seemed to be quite common back in the day but i know he's quite a scarce one to get your hands on nowadays um i don't quite know why that is my loose bradder um the center section has sadly sort of faded out and it's one that i'm, I'm on the lookout to upgrade just for my my loose one uh, the next one we got is the tuscan raider here the sand sand people and uh yeah this one's all right this is uh what's he called peter diamond wasn't it he was the stunt uh the stunt actor who played the tuscan raider and um he must have been quite happy because his image was used all over the place wasn't it um that one was on the back of the tops card so it's one of the jigsaw puzzles that he made up um this figure is absolutely fine i don't mind the uh the tuscan raider i mean it's not one of my favorites i have a pang of regret not picking up a uh, star wars 12 back um back in the day it was 120 pounds mint power toy turned it down because i already had it one of those little regrets <laughs> um well we have the a-wing pilot just now here's the b-wing pilot um once again i'm very I have a very soft spot for the b-wing ship it was just great um and certainly one of my favorites uh, we did at one point in the shop we had a whole case of about a hundred b-wing figures 
Uh, they were just in Kenner baggies. We had a whole load of C-3PO's as well. Um, and I think we were knocking them out at about three or four pounds each. Um, I mean, you could get that just for the gun alone now, probably a lot more. Just a couple more now. So this was Anakin Skywalker. Now, this is the Anakin that I had from that find back in the day, and it's got a little bit of sticker residue and things on. My friend Steve, he used to travel across Europe, and in France, he found a warehouse which had a thousand Anakins in, a thousand figures, mint, absolutely mint, flat. They didn't have the sticker on, all unpunched, beautiful figures, and he paid like a pound each for them um, and was knocking them out. You know, we, had, we had an unlimited supply of Anakins and we used to sell them for £15 each in the shop. Uh, absolutely incredible. Yak Face, the very last one we've got to show today. So, well, he was a bit of an icon, wasn't he, Yak Face? And um, thankfully, uh, this came in, in I didn't, um, I don't believe he was the 29p selection. I think he might have been, um, but I never paid a collector's price for it. It, it just came in dirt cheap. So uh, back in the, the late 80s, I picked this one up. And I only kept it because it was Star Wars. I, I don't remember seeing it on the shelf at the time. Um, didn't remember him in the movie. And I just kept hold of it because it was a Star Wars figure I didn't really know much about. Um, thankfully... Um, that's paid off because um, it's a really nice example. He's flat, it's unpunched. The bubble's got, you know, maybe a tiny little bit of dinks down the bottom there, but he's all right, really. And that, you know, I'm very, very pleased to have that figure. Uh, my carded one has not got any weapon in it. I know some of them do, uh, and some of them don't. Some of them have a staff, some of them have a, a gun, um, but mine is gunless weaponless shall we say <laughs> so which ones there do you think warrant the old acrylic case treatment certainly yak face i would think and um uh what else have we got which was really nice that layer the original layer was really nice as well the um imperial gunner there's a few in there that that would warrant going into a nice gw acrylic case so let me know which ones you think deserve the treatment in the comments below so that's it for today um if you have enjoyed this video do please give it a thumbs up. Do consider subscribing as well for regular vintage Star Wars content. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.